Hello friends today we will discuss about the basic definitions of the chemistry Let's discuss first about the matter Can you tell me what a matter is Anything which has mass and occupies space is called a matter Can you name the some examples of the matter For example apple books anything surround us is a matter Matter may be classified into the two categories physical classification and the chemical classification Physical classification tells about the physical nature of the matter whereas the chemical classification tells about the chemical nature of the matter how it is made up of For example water we all know about water it has no taste it has no color so it defines its physical classification Where is water? It is made up of the hydrogen and oxygen. It defines its chemical classification. Physical classification is divided into three categories: solid, liquid, and gas. Where is chemical classification is divided into two categories: pure substance or mixture. Pure substance may be element or a compound. Mixture may be homogeneous or a heterogeneous. Where is element may be metallic metalloids or non metallic and compounds may be organic or inorganic let's discuss about them physical classification matter can exist in a three physical states which are solid liquid and gas solid which is rigid have the fixed shape and a fixed volume Can you name some solids? For example, apple, books, liquid, which is not rigid. It has no fixed shape, no, but have fixed volume. How? Let us take example. If I put this water in a jar, one liter of the water, the composition will be the same. It will also the volume here will also be the one liter. But it acquires the shape of the jar, so its shape is not fixed but have the fixed volume. Let's discuss about gas. We all know about gases. It has not rigid shape. It has no fixed shape. It has no fixed volume. Chemical classification. As we have already discussed, chemical classification of matter tells about the chemical nature, how it is made. what elements are required to build a matter matter is divided into the two categories on basis of the chemical classification which are pure matter and the mixture pure matter may be element or a compound whereas mixture may be homogeneous mixture or heterogeneous mixture let's discuss about that pure substances which have a fixed composition how can you say that it has a fixed composition let's take an example sugar its formula is c12 h22 and o11 if i take the 10 g of the sugar the composition of the carbon hydrogen and oxygen will be the same this is true for all the sugar that's why pure substances are those substances which have the fixed composition example gold copper water glucose glucose contain the carbon hydrogen oxygen in a fixed ratio pure substances are classified into the elements and compounds elements consist of the only one type of the particles it may be atoms or molecules example copper silver hydrogen atom how can you say that the copper is an element copper when you find the copper you will see it has only the copper so it is an element but let's talk about compounds when the two or more atoms of the elements combine the molecule of the compound is formed for example ammonia here the one atom of the nitrogen and three atoms of the hydrogen combines with each other to form a molecule of a compound is a compound let's discuss about the mixtures we all know about mixtures in our daily life we 
eat a mixture now what exactly a mixture is a mixture contains two or more substances present in it in any ratio for example sugar solution if i take the 1 liter of the water and 1 teaspoon of the sugar the composition will be the different if i take the 2 liter of the water and 1 teaspoon of the sugar the composition will be the different so we can say that the mixtures are those substances which do not have the fixed composition a mixture may be homogeneous or a heterogeneous in a homogeneous mixture the compounds completely mixed with each other and composition is uniformly throughout for example sugar solution if i take the solution from here and the solution from here the composition will be the same it is known as a heterogeneous mixture let's discuss about the heterogeneous mixture the compounds composition is not uniform throughout for example we all know about pizza pizza is a heterogeneous mixture of dough sauce and cheese and other dough someone like more cheese someone like less cheese someone like more sauce on it someone like less sauce on it so composition basically basically is not same here so it is a heterogeneous mixture thank you i hope you all like this